How you guys doing? Um, this is a quick video about the virus. Like, there's a, a, a hat going on on Facebook recently where people are being sent false messages and it's an automated message. So whatever you apply, whatever you reply, they're going to basically send you the next part of the hack. Um, it's basically going to sound like a regular conversation and your friend is going to say, oh, I have this hookup, this, that, and the third. Don't believe it. Because how you can tell this an actual human being is when you send a message, the message will say seen. None of the messages you will send will ever say that. That's how you know this is a part of their hack. So if anyone's ever hacked, you send them this video. I'm going to show you guys how to lock down your account. It protects it a lot better. It is not foolproof from what I know, but this is the best way I can think of protecting your account. So first thing you want to do is you're going to go to settings. You click the little bar right here, you're going to go to settings. So settings is like right above logout. Once you get to settings, you're going to hit security. Security is right there in the top second bar. And you're going to go to login approvals. So basically what login approvals does is you can basically get you're, it will it will tell you hey you're trying to log in to someone's Facebook or they're like you're like someone trying to log into your Facebook so you will get a text message and or a code generator I'll go into that in a second to let them in so you have to approve someone to get into your account me or not now next is code generator what code generator basically does is it generates a code so yeah what if someone has my like what if I'm not like I don't want to do that. I want to have like a code, a password over my password. Like someone can know my password on a computer I like I use or I don't use. Well, then Code Generator basically gives you a passcode over your original password. Like you don't need to remember both of them, but if you're using like a public computer or a computer that like or a cell phone you don't usually use or something like that, that's where Code Generator will come into play. It will go, "Hey, I'm going to send you this text message saying these are the code you need to get into your phone." So say if you have no internet on your phone or something's going on like that, Code Generator will actually be another backup plan. Now, the last thing you want to do is trusted browsers. Now, I'm actually going to open this one up. Trusted browsers basically are browsers that are saved and you, like you approved already from login approval. So basically, once you approve them and you or if you use Code Generator, you basically can now like save that browser so now you know oh whenever I see me log in from my cell phone or my computer or my tablet though all like Facebook security will know oh yeah you use this before it's okay you can do it so basically that's basically everything you have to do so once again a real quick overview you'll do login approvals you'll set up your cell phone and you'll set up a code generator well it will give you a password to get into your account and then it will get then you go to your trusted browsers and you remove everything off your trusted browser so that way you have to worry you don't have to worry about anyone still having you like if you're signed in somewhere else and you're not there you can sign yourself out of it from wherever you are it works the same way on your phone settings security and you can do the same thing on your phone as well i hope this video helped a lot because i like i'm worried about everybody's safety all right you gotta be awesome